using Civil 3D to create um, a survey is actually pretty simple. Uh, it's a little more, people think it's a little more complicated, but really it's just the prep work that has to go into it. Typically you normally get a point file, uh, and usually at the end of the point file there's description keys. So we're going to use those description keys in order to tell it what line or what block to insert. Um, so when you have those description keys, if you wanted to draw a line, then you'll say begin. You'll tell it um, to begin the line, and then you'll, it'll go down the line. So TC1 begin, and then there should be a TC1 begin curve, uh, TC1 begin end curve, and TC1 end. And then if you have another top of curve, it would be TC2 begin end, and so on. So where do you get those line work codes at? Uh, so basically you go inside of uh, Civil 3D here and if you want to know what uh, line work code set is you'll just right click on this this one says line work code set you'll say properties and in here is the uh, coding that's used so if you have another code that you would like to use you can basically change your template and have your code in here um, the way that you would like it uh, you can just make your own new one and then you can just have your coding to be whatever you want uh, and then so when it's drawing the line work how does it draw the line is it uses this prefix database um, so you can see in here, this one's drawn the line work for me, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But uh, let's just say that it's automatically put it on all these layers, so it's put one on fence, it's put some on striping, it's put some on top of curb, uh, it even put my center centerline roadway in here, and it drew all those based just upon the points that were collected. So let's just say I wanted to draw um, the center line of the roadway like this one. Uh, I would just go manage prefix database, and um, I would just click on the little plus symbol, and whatever my code is for my striping, so I'm going to say uh, ST yellow, um, and then I'll say yes, draw it as a break line because I want it to be in 3D because I'm going to make a surface out of it. And then I would put a appropriate layer for it. So I just say let's go to the uh, V for survey designator, and I'm going to do striping and yellow. And then I also have a style for the feature line that it's going to draw, or the break line, that's road striping yellow. Uh, so that'll automatically make it look like this. And then it's going to just put it in the default sites. So that takes care of all the line work coding. Um, but the last thing is, what if I wanted to insert a block, like say a manhole or some other kind of code, like a tree or whatever I want? Um, that's controlled under the settings. Uh, you'll go to the points and you'll go to the description key sets. And under these uh, description key sets, I will right click on this guy and I'll say edit keys. And this brings up the coding in this particular um, option. So I'd look for, do I have one for my manhole? Yeah, so I have one here that says SS uh, manhole. It's going to create a style of sanitary sewer manhole. Uh, if I want to make a new one of these, I'll just right click, uh, click on any of them and say new, and it will give me a little new one at the bottom. Uh, you enter in whatever your description key is going to say uh, down here, and usually just use, uh, I'm going to use SS uh, MH, uh, oops down on me. Uh, SSMH, and I use the star as a, I'm going to put a 1 because I already have one up here, but I'm going to put a star in here because that means it's just going to grab in case I have, in case they collected any other extra numbers after the manhole. Uh, so that way it'll kind of ignore those numbers, it'll just look for the, the main key. Uh, what style do I want it to use? So I'm going to click in here and say, uh, let's check this little box, and then I can click for my point styles that I have. So I'd want to use whatever point style I have for the manhole. Uh, do I have one for sanitary sewer? There it is, manhole. I'll hit OK. And then if I want it labeled, how do I want that label to be? So I can just say, well, just label the, maybe I have one for sewer manholes where I just want the, the top, uh, the elevation and description. That sounds good. Uh, you can specify to put it on a layer. Uh, you can tell it if it has scaling in this options. There's a lot of other options you can play with on how to rotate. Um, that label if you want it to rotate per plan and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but when you're done, you just hit OK, and then you are ready to create your own survey. Just to show you I have nothing on, up my sleeve, I'm going to start a, a new file here. Um, let's go to my empty file, this part 2, and I'll zoom extents, turn on all the layers just so you can see that I have nothing in here. Once it comes up, let's uh, unfreeze and turn on, and uh, zoom extents nothing here. So if I want to make a new survey database, um, I can just right click over here and say a new local survey database. Um, and then I'll go to here and I'll say uh, open for edit. Uh, and then uh, I actually have already done this one. So let me start a new one. So I'll say new. Let's call this 
Star Lord 2. I'll hit OK. I have a mess in here. I'll have to clean it up later. Uh, I'm going to right click on this and I'm just going to say import and I'm going to go to import survey data. It's just going to ask me to confirm the database I'm going to use. I'm already using it. Uh, you can edit the database settings. Um, I would probably set this if you're in the uh, US to US foot. That's probably the most important thing to change in this entire box. Uh, but you can set your units, your precision, and that kind of information in here. Uh, then you can say uh, next. And it's just going to ask you, well, what type of source do you have? Do you have a field book, land XML, point file, points from drawing? I have a point file. So I'm going to go out to this point file. And what is inside of this point file is basically um, just our points, numbers, and descriptions. And then I have, like I said, the TC1 with begin, begin curve, uh, end curve, begin curve. So this is the, the line work code that I was talking about. Uh, basically, I'm going to select this guy, and then I'm going. To, it's going to try and match the best filtering. So I'm going to scroll down because I know this is a uh, PNEZD. So it's a, a point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description with comma delimination. And as long as it looks good in the preview box down here, I know that I'm good. So it has my raw descriptions and everything. I'll hit next. I'm not going to use this specified network, uh, and then I'll hit next. One of the most important checkboxes is this process line work during import. So this is the one that will draw the 3D break lines for you. So you'll want to do that one. And make sure you use your current code work, whichever uh, one that you've made for your um, particular code sets, that's the one that you want to use. So you obviously the name would not be sample, it would be whatever your company name is probably. Um, as far as that's concerned, that's pretty much the ones that uh, I check. Uh, insert survey points, so I want the points in there. I also want the figure objects to come in as well. Then I just hit finish, and it will populate the points first, and then it will process the line work. So now I pretty much have my curves, my gutters, uh, here's my manholes, uh, here's my little fence line, all my striping is here. Um, so you can see how much faster it is. And now that I have these break lines and points, I could build a surface in a couple seconds. Uh, so I'm just going. Hopefully, you enjoyed that, uh, and hopefully, you can see how powerful the surveys are, uh, the survey tools. When